Hey guys, guess what? It's Angel. Um, you're watching my latest video and today um, this video is way different um, in that uh, it's really relaxed setting <laughs> um, and a uh, different background because I'm sitting um, downstairs and um, I, I've been thinking about this for a while and I wanted to get some content out and my puppy is sleeping upstairs <clears throat> so I thought that I would just put this uh, video together and I hope I'm looking in the right place for this because uh, I'm using a different I'm using my phone to, to film this so um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is um, something that's been on my mind and um, I talked about this in the podcast that I um, did with my friend. Um, and it, it's, it kind of, it, I was thinking about this in regards to uh, my son who has struggled with his mental health lately and um, is kind of, he, he had struggled with it since high school, but it kind of intensified towards the end of last year. And, um, you know, as a mom, when you see your, it's one thing for me to go through my mental health struggles, but to see my child go through struggles was particularly scary and, um, and challenging for me, um, and I spent many, many nights just sobbing because I just was worried for him and wanted to make sure he was okay. And, um, and so, you know, when you're in the midst of something like that, you have, a, and sorry if my, my camera is going to be moving because I don't, it's not on a tripod. This is a really, really relaxed setting. So I'm just holding it. But when you're in the midst of that and it's someone that you love that's going through something like I said, it's one thing if I'm going through it and, um, it, I was thinking and sort of, you know, obsessing because that's what I do, uh, thinking about these things. It's one thing if I'm going through it and a lot of times when we ourselves are going through, you know, our own struggles. And for me, um, you know, it's one thing if I'm manic you know, that is a different mental state because you're, um, you're irritable or you're anxious or you're euphoric or whatever, whatever that manifests in your, your mania or your hypomania, that's one thing. But when you're depressed, it's different in that you are in a state, like for me, I get really angry when I'm depressed, like I get really down on myself and I really start to, you know, have those thoughts of like anger where I'm thinking, why, why am I going through this again? Like, and I know why, like it's bipolar, but at the same time, I'm like, I get so sick and tired of it. You know what I, you know what I mean, right? Where you're just like so frustrated that you, like my body's heavy, I, I don't feel well, I have no energy, I can't get out of bed, I'm just exhausted and I'm frustrated and why am I going through this? And I go through that whole dance in my mind where um, my mind is, has turned against me, where my mind is telling me all of these things, all these negative things, you know, and I know that it's bipolar, like I know that my mind is just working against me. But at the same time, like, I, like, it's my mind, like, telling me all of these negative things. And I don't know how to get out of it because there's, like, there's no way out of it. I have to go through it because it's a chemical thing. And I get really angry and think, why am I going through this? And then this thing happened with my son. And it made me realize something. And um, maybe you have felt this too. And if you haven't, to me, it was really something powerful. 
Sorry, I always get emotional in my videos when I talk about this. Because we are emotional, right? We're, we are emotional people. But what was really powerful to me was, and I have never felt this before, but gratitude. Gratitude that I, because of my bipolar and me, and my experiences going through my mental health journey. Because I've been there and I know what it feels like, um, I, can, I can empathize and could empathize with my son dealing with his own depression. And I could help him. I could help him and I can help him on his journey. And I couldn't imagine being a parent um, who didn't understand trying to be there for him. And that's I, not, to, not to take away or say anything negative about parents that don't struggle with their own mental illness, trying to help their children. Um, we all are challenged with it when our loved one is dealing with that, whether we struggle with our own mental illness or not, it is a struggle and it is a challenge because it's your loved one and you care so much about them and you want the very best for them. But for me in my situation, I experienced gratitude for my own mental health journey because I was able to help my son. And it made me sort of look back on the past and realize that I have had the opportunity in the past to help other people because of my own struggles. And just the gratitude that I feel for that. And also how grateful I am, not that I want to see anybody else go through these struggles, but I'm so grateful to my friends and people that I've met along my mental health journey who have had their own struggles and the strength that they have given me and the stories that they have shared with me uh, about their own personal journeys and the strength that their stories have given me. And I think sometimes we, we don't give ourselves the credit that we deserve for our own stories and our journeys and the things that we've been through every time we make it through a manic episode every time we make it through a depressive episode we learn something we gain strength and that is real and it's meaningful and it's important and those things make us stronger and we are very strong resilient people and um so I just, I, I think it's important that we keep those things in mind and that we um, are kind to ourselves when we are going through a struggle. And um, it's a big reason, like there are multiple reasons why I do these videos. Um, it's not to pat myself on the back or bring attention to myself in any way. It is to really simply reach out to anyone who is out there who is struggling or who loves someone who is struggling to just get information out and to um, let you know that you have a tribe, that we are out here and that um, your thoughts and your feelings um, are valid and to let you know or to let you feel that you're validated and um, to let you know as I say in many of my videos that you are not alone and so like I said today's video is just quite different I'm <laughs> very very relaxed not in my usual space that I film but it's something that I wanted to um, put out and let you guys know that I'm always thinking of you and I'm always wanting to put out content 
it's been hard. We've, you know, um, we've gone through our struggles as a family, um, towards the end of the year with my COVID thing, and then just dealing with some personal things. Um, but just like with my bipolar, every time we make it through a struggle, um, it makes us stronger as a family and it, it helps us learn and grow. And, um, I'm sure that your families are the same and, um, our puppy is getting bigger and she is so smart and so cute. She had a vet visit today and she's doing great. And, um, like I said, she's upstairs napping, which is why I am here in this setting and it's way more relaxed. Um, so with that, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great week. And until we talk again, bye.